Okay, we're in uh, Kyle Canyon Road here, and uh, Mount Charleston is up there about 20 miles, 5,700 feet up, and we're going to go up the mountain and uh, just see how uh, the battery goes down, percent battery, and how many watt hours per mile uh, that we use going up this mountain. And then we'll uh, check it out on the way back down the mountain. And uh, I think uh, we might actually gain some uh, percent battery on the way down. Last week, my wife noticed that the battery level is actually going up on the way back down the mountain, which is really surprised the heck out of me. So we're going to see how that does, and uh, just kind of uh, keep tabs on the, uh, you know, the graphs of the watt hours per mile, and we'll do a trip and see how it goes. Okay, the battery at the base of this hill is 67%. We've got trip A reset, and we'll keep an eye on that and see what kind of watt hours per mile we get going up the hill. Uh, we're halfway up the mountain now, about 10 miles out, and looks like we're at about 629 watt hours per mile so far. So it's really sucking up the uh, battery going up this hill. percent battery about 13 miles in right at 639 watt hours per mile 54 percent got a little roundabout coming up here uh, we're almost there maybe about three miles to go and we're looking at 656 watt hours per mile so far two miles to go Batteries at 48%. We're averaging about 695 watt hours per mile, and we're only a mile away, around 8,000 feet elevation. Okay, we're at uh, about 47% on the battery, and we average 702 watt hours per mile. And this is trip A, it shows we went 22 miles, uh, 687 watt hours per mile. That kind of agrees with the graph, pretty close. At the top of the hill, we're gonna do the uh, North Loop Trailhead, do a little hiking. Our elevation here where we're parked is 8445. So around 5,700 feet, a little more than that from uh, where we started. Got the uh, cabin overheat protection on so the battery might go down a little bit while we're out here hiking for several hours. We're heading back down the mountain now, and we've got 46% on the battery. Okay, we'll reset trip A going down. So 687 watt hours per mile going up. And we'll reset. So Chris is driving down the hill here, and she's just using the regen braking. And uh, I'm thinking pretty soon here, we'll see that go up from 46 to 47%. Not really sure how much we're going to gain by the time we get to the bottom. I'm guessing 4 or 5%, 47% now. Okay, we're already up at, uh, looks like 48% now. And we've only gone a couple miles. Looks like we've gone four miles already. And, uh, minus 415 watt hours per mile. So uh, man, it's really putting the, uh, the watts back into the battery there. Great, now we are up to 49%. Very good. Okay, we're 50% now and we've gone nine miles. We're almost halfway back down the mountain. Minus 322 watt hours per mile. We're at 51% now, so we've gained 5% back into the battery on the way down the hill. And uh, we're 12 miles into it. I think we've got about another 8 or 9 miles to go. Still 51%. So Chris slowed up just a little bit, and you can see that uh, he started putting a little bit more in there, a little bit faster. It was almost leveling out. And we're still at 51%. 
Okay, let off just a little more. I just want to show how this thing can really, that's enough. Okay, keep it going right around there. It just really drops the, uh, the power just goes right into the battery. You can see it there pretty dramatically. Wow. Now we're still doing 40. Coming back down to the city here. All right, we made it 52% here. So that's 6% higher than when we left. Three or four miles to go. Averaging uh, minus 250 watt hours per mile. Still at 52%, probably real close to hitting 53. We've only got about another mile, maybe two miles to go. Okay, so we went 22 miles and minus 223 watt hours per mile on the way down. And we are at 52%. So we gained 6% going down. I think we're right ready to go over to 53%, but I think that's pretty good overall. Okay, we're back home now and we still have 46% on the battery. So that's the same percent we had when we left the top of the mountain and it's 40 miles to home. So that's kind of interesting. We used uh, no battery at all from the top of the mountain all the way back home in 40 miles. Pretty cool.